Hello and welcome to part three of my Lego VD1 build series. So we're going to be doing bag three. Here's what we've done so far. We had the bag one was the main body here and bag two was the internal structure of the legs. So we're just going to set him off to the side. That will probably be uh, grabbing what we've done already here. In fact, you can tell right here, yes we are. So let's open up these bags real quick. Keep them in their pines. Got a lot of pieces of that. Nice and empty. done because here, here's little here's BD right down here and uh, we've got a little bit to go I think this is our, our progress bar right here down oh, right down here but, but that's okay so so here here's how far we've made it so let's find these very very small pieces I'm just gonna snag the out because those are very unique. Oh, we got some black ones too. All right, let's find these tiny pieces. Tiny pieces. So the smaller Lego bags tend to hold the smaller pieces. We need this four times, okay. That's four of those, and I need one more of those gray stud connectors. Where are you? There's gotta be one more here. There you are. Let me just do this four times. So I hope everyone's doing well out there and enjoying these videos. So where are we putting these? It looks like right up here. This is a little awkward to do to, so you can see it in camera. Come on. There we go. Let me skip that and go there. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes these pieces just don't want to go in. There we go. That was a little easier than the other side. Look at that. Alrighty. Got the, these two, like, whip pieces. Okay, that's, that, that's a neat feature, how they do that. So, we want that to go in that slot. And then stretch this down here. And connect it to this lower... 
character. Like so. And that's not 100%. It, it's snug enough. I think. Let me do the same thing on the other side. Should have. Yep, there we go. So there's that. And we do the same thing with these uh, gold like ones. That goes right in there. Like so. So, come on, in you go. There we go. I'm not sure if I have the rotation right, but you get the idea. Why was that so much easier? I have no idea. Okay. There we go. It's not exactly like it looks in the manual, but it'll do. That'll do. Okay, and that was the only two. Alright. So what we're going to be doing... This looks like to be up here. Start with a singular circular piece. And one of those. This. And that just all covers that up. And two of these quarter circle pieces. And just one of you. You go right there. And this this wiggles a little bit. That'll be I'm sure that'll be straightened out by adjacent pieces here. And, yep, that was the corner piece exactly what I needed. And one of you, okay. So let's assemble all of that together. Pop you on right there. All right. I do like a nice pop of color with the red. It's not all gray. Yeah, we gotta find a lot of red pieces though. Okay, we need to find, so there's that, and then there should be that, so. One, one, one and one, and one, okay. Assemble all of this together like so here. Okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, there, there's there's that straight edge that'll keep that part in place. So now that's not gonna move anywhere. And here are these these angled pieces are down like that. And then we have just this one piece going right there. Okay, so we've got this going on for us. Question is where are these two pieces? They've got to be in this pile. Just a matter of how buried are they? Like so. Yep. There's that piece, and right under it is the other piece I need. So all right, flip you around, and we're gonna pop you right here, and then that will give us the 
placement of these two. All right, all right make sure all everything's nice and squeezed together. These two connector panels that I'm sure will be going into the leg. Alright, some more detailing to go here. So, definitely this piece. Sure. I'm almost, I'm kind of guessing on this piece because it's, it's, it's hard to tell for me. That's probably a dark gray piece, and then uh, this piece right here. Okay. So, moment of truth. So these two go together like that, and then this should cover the rest of it. Yes, okay. And then this overlaps just by those right there. That looks right, and then this all goes right there. And that looks like it aligns with that seam right there. So and then now we flip over to the other side. We've got two small detail pieces. They're gonna go right here. Where'd you go? There you are. This, this this small square piece is it's not gonna go, go anywhere all right we pop up here to this step and we've got one more yeah that's the piece i want hopefully two of these okay and we do this assembly right up here did not realize I needed two of these small panels. Remember to pay attention to your numbers. And you get applied right there. Okay. And then we're going to have this assembly here. this okay there's the half circle so they have it shown like this but it's gonna go like this right like that okay, we've got two one by four panels here they're just gonna go right on here like so and yeah so th those wiggle right now but those are gonna be secured here in a minute i'm sure right with this black piece that's going to go right there. Okay, already secured. Uh, 
no wiggle room there. All right, so now we've got these curved pieces. One more of these. So we're just gonna go right around. Like that. Okay. Look at that. Nice, nice smooth lines. Pop that right. Cap that. Okay, so I need to find that piece right there. There you are. Not you. Go away. I don't need you yet. There we go. Okay. That all goes right here. Okay, so we've got an assembly here to do. All right. So I need a corner piece, this panel, two, that length, flat panels, and this. All right. So I'm just going to go like that, go there, and then that all looks to be correct. Right there. Okay. Alright, so we got that piece, and I should have. That's just a two. I only see threes. Is that. That's not gray. There it is. Right there on top. So I'm going to secure that all in. Is that wiggle? That wiggles a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Oh, and we're flipping you around. Okay. And we've got that one element to go right here. Okay. All nice, nice and smooth. And now I need you. You on and two of the quarter pieces. So you go right in the middle, as shown. Oop. And then these two, like that. So. And you're still okay, it's flipped over, and you're gonna go on like so. So. All looking like that. One of you, you, and two. Oop, two of you. Shouldn't throw your pieces. This gets assembled as such. There we go. So that's how all that's looking. You get to be placed like so. That looks that looks right. Yep, there we go. And we do the same similar assembly, just mirrored for the other side. those in the right place because they butt up right against these pieces here and it helps if I have that oriented properly. 
properly so I can connect connect it all. Alright. Two of you. And where are those pieces? There's one. And there's two. There we go. Come here, number two. Okay, so these are going to go like so. And those go on top. Top. There we go. That's all of that. Excellent. And we have three little grabby arms. I think they changed these recently. Because these used to just be, like, straight. So I'll flip you back over. And all three of those go like that. Okay. And get me this angled piece. And one of those, which is this piece right here that's like a right angle. Okay, and then you are assembled like that. And go right there. Like so, okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna need some, a little bit more securing because that that I don't think that's supposed to wiggle. <laughs> One and one. There we go. Yeah, you and you and a little piston piece. Three of these. Two and three. So you are assembled there. And you butt up right up against the other one, like so. And you need to go there. And you're down here. Okay. And finally, this the piece for right here. So I need one, two of those. I need two of these pieces. Okay. Two of these inverted curves. Just one of that, and one more piece of that. Okay. Let me just do this sub-assembly. Okay, so you are going to go... ...like that. That's how that's looking, and then these inverted curves. Like so. Alright. And all of this gets put on right here. There. Nice. Make sure it's all nice and flush. And, okay, so it looks like these two pins go into these two oh hold up because so that's not going to go very far so i think it's these two slots here so not this one not this one but this one and this one so oh nope i'm wrong again go up here so it's going to be this top one and then this fourth one down here Make sure we've got everything oriented correctly. And we pop all of that on. Oh, something's not right. 
something's not going. What did I do wrong? I think. Okay. Let's, let's scoot back here. I only needed one. So I was mistaken when I put two of those on. When it only called for one. Where did I right there so i'd only needed one and that that was mine that was an error on my part because you need that clearance you need this clear so the leg can go through and there we go there we go so there we go now we've got a nice full complete leg at least i think it's complete go. There's that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and speed build this. Because I got a lot of parts here, but it's gonna be it's gonna be the same assembly, just mirrored for the other side. we go we have both uh legs armored up okay, so now we gotta do that two times so we need two all eight of these two three four one two three and four Circular, just cover it up. And the second one. that that's going to be held on by these two studs there on both sides like so all right okay so we've got some detailing to do all right gotta do this twice all right so two pins for these small little studs here three uh i only have three here and this, this is where the extra pieces come in handy, because I might have, yep, I happen to have an extra one to fill that out. Okay, 
So, crisis averted. Now, it should have had all four of these stud pieces in uh, bag three, but I'm I'm not worried about it. So, we're going to do this twice real quick. So, pop that on. Pop that through. And we're going to pop this on in the opposite way so it doesn't connect with the other one. And finally, put it on. Oh, we're not going to put it all the way on, though. We're going to put that right there. We're going to slide you back down like that. So that's how that should look. And we're going to do that a second time real quick. I'm not going to bother cutting this because this is pretty short. I'm just going to get a nice flush by pushing it down onto a hard surface. These are going right there, so right on these studs here, like so. So it kind of looks like a, another tiny little piston. assembly three so we've got the legs all nice and done so now we need to form the head and i will definitely put up a part four in continuing this build series and here's just the parts we have left over so we're gonna hold on to those in case we need them because as you saw i have some extra pieces from the previous bags here that we actually needed to make use of. So I'll be uploading part four and making the, that assembly. I'm not sure what part of the head we'll be making, but it will definitely be here. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.